Welcome to another international episode of the Modeling Secrets Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Pollard, and this is your source to learn from experienced and established models literally all around the world. And today is no different. We are going to interview model Livia Sheftig all the way in Poland, who at 23 years old in just one year has been able to get signed to multiple agencies work with fashion brands and photographers literally all around the world. We're going to find out her story, her experiences, and exactly what she says you need to do to accomplish the same. All right, Livia, welcome to the call. I really appreciate you being here all the way from Poland. Uh, I'm in California right now, so I know it's a big time difference and uh, it's pretty late there for you. So I'm just going to jump right into this and tell us how you got started with modeling and what made you pursue this as a career? So I started modeling a year ago. So I have one year experience. And what makes me pursue that? Well, I've actually, honestly, my family pushed me because I've been doing some TFP projects for fun with photographers before. And they told me, like, you should really think about it more seriously. Like, people are really paying for, you know, um, photography and uh, you can really get some money from that and I think it's gonna be fun for you I'm 23 so I'm like trying new things I was like okay maybe I can try this out but um, I'm not that tall I'm not one of the tallest girls out there I don't really know how you um, measure it in America it's in feet right but in Europe yeah, in it's inches. in cent- yeah yeah I'm sorry, I don't know how to really translate that. But um, in Poland, well, we uh, calculate in centimeters. So I'm 168 centimeters height. Yeah. So I'm not a very fashion type of model. I'm not for the runways. But I I heard that a lot, that I'm pretty, that I'm exotically pretty. And I'm, a, I, I'm quite photogenic, photogenic, let's mm-hmm. say. And um, when I started to post a lot of lots of selfies on Instagram, more photographers, like professional ones, um, DM'd me about photo shoots. Like, okay, I can do this for fun. It's always good to have something to post on Instagram, I guess. But then my family was like, you should really try, um, you know, get to one of the agencies in Poland. Like my grandparents, especially, were very supportive of that. And they told me, if you're young, you can really try this out and look how it's going to work out for you. So I did. We Googled, um, we Googled um, like top 10 agencies, modeling agencies in Poland, and I applied for all of them. And I got a feedback from all of them as well. So I was very surprised. But also it can be a thing that um, there's not many, not so many exotic people in Poland like um it's it's poland is like 90 80 percent you know white so they i feel like they really felt like okay she's not that tall but i guess she can work with us because she's unique she's different than most of our models like we have 200 beautiful white skin models but we i think we wanted like something different right so i guess that's that's a very lucky thing for me in poland uh, so um, I received, I received, I think I, I chose out of all of this 10 that actually replied to me, like maybe five of them actually invited me after setting some, you know, Polaroids, like some basic photos, like maybe four or five of them replied that, okay, can you actually come and we can see you um, in real life, how you look and whatsoever. So, um, and I, out of all of this, like all of these four and five, I just chose one, which was uh, actually, um, there's, um, I don't know. There's a thing that I chose the one who was um, the closest to my home. (laughs) So there's a meeting or something like that. Like all of them were very, very good. And as I didn't have a really good experience, like, um, what type of agency I should go for. I didn't have the experience I have now, sadly, unfortunately, actually. But then I felt like um, like f- a few of them were not outside of Warsaw where I live. I live in Warsaw and many of them were outside of Warsaw. 
So I chose the one who is in Warsaw. So I can get to meetings very easily. I don't have to take a train. I don't have to take a car or whatever to, to, to have a meeting with my agency. So I chose the one who is local in here in Warsaw where I live. And that was a good choice and I'm very happy about it. So this is how I started kind of. Yes, thank you for sharing that. Having a circle around you, a support system, I know is very important to anyone's success. And with that being said, I know you've only been doing this for a year, but what are some of your biggest accomplishments that you've had so far? Well, there have been so many, so many projects. Like people are actually surprised that I have such like a very short experience. They expect me to work in the industry much longer than only one year. But I would say, I don't know. Uh, I was open for every project. So the most proud that I did was actually not a commercial one. It was the project that my boy, my current boyfriend invited me, but at uh, that time he wasn't my boyfriend. He was, uh, it's a guy, it's a photographer. He's a great photographer, my biggest friend. So he invited me to work abroad in Jordan. Jordan, <clears throat> it's a, it's a beautiful country, uh, Arabic country next to Iran. And um, we did a project for, uh, I mean, not for, but with styling from the um, Bulgarian brand, which it's Demo Baza, that's the name of the brand. And the brand worked with um, the cast of Dune movie. I don't know if you know Dune movie, but there is a Zendaya, Timothy Chalamet, yeah, that yeah. Was a, a big movie they did. So the same styling, same clothing we have in Jordan was also from, the, from that movie. So that was the same brand. And we've been so excited to work with that kind of styling, like Apocalypse, like Mad Max, like, you know, Desert. It was a, it was a great project that he invited me to. And that, the, the outcome was so crazy. Like the, the photography from the desert, um it was totally different what I would expect to be and he helped me so much with the posing with expressions that was like that was in October last year so I was in three months in modeling so like three months I didn't know anything how to really work um, how to pose um, how to have different expressions it really just seems like being on camera just comes naturally to you. Is that the case? Or how did you learn how to be so confident and fluidly move uh, through your poses? <laughs> Thank you. And um, no, 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 no. I, well, you see, uh, so videography and photography, as I mentioned, is a totally different, they're totally two different things. Um, so when I thought that I'm pretty confident behind the camera when someone sh shot me, I just didn't look like that when someone tried to film me. Like my uh, my um, expressions were stiff. I was stiff, and uh, even though I thought that I looked good, somebody you know, um, people told me like you know you need to like be more natural and just feel. Don't be too serious about what you're doing. Just treat it more like in a fun way. This is fun, so you should be more relaxed. And because I was stiff, because I, I tried to look too perfect, you know, I tried to look too pretty. And because of that, I wasn't really myself. Mm -hmm. So when I, the moment I stopped thinking that I should look perfect, that, you know, my angle is there because I have my perfect angle, I would say my better angle. And I stopped focusing on that. That really helped me to be more natural. And to stop thinking about my flaws, like, I don't know, it does, I don't know, um, do I look pretty in that certain way or that certain way, my clothing and everything. So the moment I stopped thinking about all of this stupid little things that were in my head that I tried to control and try to look perfect all the time, the better I got and the more natural actually I got. And what really helps to be more confident about yourself is the people that actually, you know, surround you, like, I, I am very lucky because my family really support me and they're honest with me as well when they see the outcome. They tell me like, you know, it's really good, but I think you should, you know, try to work on that, on that, on that. So they, they don't tell me that you're perfect because you are our, our daughter or our granddaughter. 
they really um, help me to 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 um, fix some things that would make me improve. Also, there's my boyfriend who is a photographer and he's been in industry for like 10 years. So he has a really huge experience and he really helped me a lot to to um, to also to uh, to become more confident because he would actually say what is wrong, what we should focus on, what is good for me. There is a, one thing that I stopped caring about looking perfect all the time, but actually having fun. And um, a second thing, people that helped me to become more confident because they were, they were really, really supportive as well. But I think the most important thing is that just stop trying to look pretty. Like stop focusing on that to look perfect because you will be more stiff and you will just get too nervous and it will really show on camera. Maybe not on photograph, but definitely, definitely on the video. So I've been following you for some time on Instagram, obviously, and I've checked out your page and I've seen that you're around 40,000 followers now. And so tell us, how did you grow your social media and how does it continue to grow and what impact has that done for your career? Oh, well, I actually, well, uh, yeah, my Instagram through that one, throughout for that one year grew up a lot, I would say. And of course, posting regularly, but also posting content that people like and uh, that I enjoy as well. Just um posting like uh, more um for the like the first thing quality content so i always knew that posting high quality photos like photo shoots different type of photo shoots any kind of photo shoots like fashion beauty that will get um attention from different type of people different type of clients and not only posting like one type, like for example, I don't know, swimwear or, but I tried to post as more diverse content as it possible. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Right. So posting, posting um, different type of shootings, like more rough, um, black and white as well, like fashion, but also some portraits, also some swimwear, also just a different different type. So I will not get that people will not get bored and they will also see that I can do different faces, different uh, type of, of uh, photography. I'm actually a full time photographer myself. And I know in this world of being a creative um, as your only source of income can be challenging and can be exciting and um, lots of things can come with that good and bad. So what are your experiences with being a full-time model? It's really cool that you said that you're a full-time photographer because it's not really that common. Uh, from my experience, I don't really know many like photographers who are doing this full-time because they're just too scared of you know having irregular paychecks, right? right. Um, and so on. So I feel like, yeah, when, I, when I'm a full-time model, I have the same thing as you, like, we don't really know when are we gonna be paid or, you know, how much per month, blah, blah, blah. So it's really, it's really nice that you're doing this full-time because, yeah, so I'm a full-time model. To really 100% focus on that, I, like, this is the only option to do it full-time, to yeah. get, you know, the, the more opportunity, as is possible. So, yes. And so would you say there's a difference between um, the industry itself in America versus Poland or other countries? I feel like social media these days really help. So um, before I started to travel, um, my, my Instagram is like uh, getting bigger and bigger because I try to be regular with posting. So more people see me outside of Poland. So whenever I um, I posted that I'm going to be in this country, in this country, in this country, some photographers just easily um, DM'd me about photo shoot. And we clicked and we did a photo shoot, a paid photo shoot, like private photo shoots or some commercial photo shoots as well. So I think social media these days really help. And I don't really, I don't really um, feel like there's 
I never really felt any restrictions. Like it's it's very similar. Um, I would say, like in Poland or in any other country, um, to book a shooting. You mean uh, like to yeah, book a shoot? Right. To book a shoot, to qualify, mm. to get signed for a model casting calls, or they do they have a lot of rules you have to go by? Well. Okay, so I would say that maybe it's easier because, oh, okay, America, it's US itself, it's a huge country. It's like Europe, it's like the Europe, like, right? So um, you guys have a lot of girls like me there, but in Poland, it's not that common as well. Like in, I don't know, in maybe in Germany or any other country in Europe. So it's it's there is a thing that I felt competition like I feel like I'm not that unique anymore in the US I would still got booked to get some bookings when I was in the US but um in Poland it's just is it's uh there's like many more of them I would say so maybe this is this is something that I could like the biggest difference that I noticed and but besides that, don't they don't really feel any like restrictions or difficulties? Like everything right now happens through Instagram, so it's it's so much easier to to get a job like modeling job these days thanks to Instagram actually because people connect from all around the world through the one app, and you know when they see you that you are in their country, like they easily can invite you to to a certain project, certain work, yeah right yeah what is the mindset that you have around continuing to grow as a person and your self-confidence yes it's so 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 important um to just really live talk to people out you know like alone with themselves being toxic and it's really actually pretty hard to cut them off but it's so important for your development for your you know uh, improvement and that's the first step and the second step of course it's your it's what is in your head and that's a process honestly that's a that's an ongoing process so I'm not saying that I stopped you know trying to control to look good I still think about it of course because I want to look pretty of course I'm you know uh, with the I want to be confident about the outcome but I'm definitely more chill I'm definitely more chill and this is just an ongoing process with yourself. Absolutely. Another major concern for female models, especially is personal safety. So what are some of the precautions that you take to make sure you are staying safe, especially when you're taking sexy photos and traveling uh, to different parts of the world? What are some of the things you do to make sure that you are protected? Well, yes. So um, first of all, I told myself that I would not really go for um, like, you know, sensual, like too many, too, too much sexy photo shoots. Uh, it's just, it's just me. Uh, but I did some um, like lingerie photo shoots as well. So the first thing I do is I check on the photographer who DM'd me about the offer and I usually scroll through his profile to see if I know somebody he shot with. And I DM the model that he already shot with. And we talk. And I just ask her, um, like, is it okay? Is it safe to, to meet with him? Was it okay? Was it he, like, not too, I don't know, um, too comfortable with you or whatsoever so I always I always check on the uh, check on the girls I already work with a certain photographer and that helps a lot so I don't really check on one I write either like to two three to have a to have a um, like a sum up on uh, how how's the photographer so this is what I do also I never never um, met with a photographer at his hotel or at his place uh when i when i did i always uh i tried to take my boyfriend with me for safety always like tell told the photographer that he will that he will be there but he won't you know disturb or anything he's just for the safety to make me feel more comfortable 
And I always send the addresses, of course, the telephone number of the photographer to my boyfriend, to my family. And, um, but yeah, I try to avoid meeting with photographers at their like, you know, private, uh, private places or to, to go to come with somebody who, who will take care of me there. Yes. Thank you so much for answering that. I know there's a lot of value in what we're talking about here and I'm sure everyone is at home, uh, taking notes as they're watching this. So before I ask you my last and final question, tell our followers, uh, where they can find you and how they can get in contact with you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram with my Polish name, which is which is hard to pronounce <laughs> and hard to write down for sure. Maybe I should change it to, to some nickname, more international nickname. But um, for now, you can find me on um, my Instagram as Lydia Shevchik. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is my Polish name, Lydia Shevchik. Sorry, but I also have my second profile, which is uh, which is much I think easier to to remember. Is she live uh, floor? I would say floor mm -hmm. and retouch. She live. Floor retouch. So, oh, like underscore? <laughs> that's my second. <laughs> you mean underscore? I don't know, that that yeah. Underscore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those little things. Those little things. Okay, I'll just I'll put <laughs> the names of your Instagram on the screen so that yeah. they can just see it there. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank All right. Thank you again, Livia, for being on our podcast today. So for my last and final question. If you had to boil it all down to just one thing, what would you say the secret to having a successful modeling career is? Well, uh, you have to be very, very patient and hardworking. And you need to, if you want to do it like 100% to, to be a full-time model, there's a risk that you need to quit your job and start focusing on that. Go into castings, uh, you know, uh, signing with a good agency, um, actually not waiting for people to contact you with the offer, but offering yourself through social media. I also offer myself for cooperation to the brands that I'm interested to work with. So that really helps to be open and not to, to be scared to, to write to people with the, you know, with the offer you have. But of course, you have to prepare it somehow. So also... Uh, so be open to shoot uh, TFP projects, really fun projects, um, not actually like jumping into the water and uh, waiting for commercial like big uh, shootings because you need to like show the client your portfolio. So in order to to create a nice portfolio, you need to to prepare to actually shoot sometimes for free, but fun projects you're interested in. So there, there are like a few keys that I would really, really recommend to be patient and to be hardworking and just, you know, um, to offer yourself to people, not, not to wait. Yeah. Yes. Do not wait. Put yourself out there. Be hardworking. Be patient and keep the faith. Great answer. I couldn't have said it better myself. All right. Thank you again for being here on our podcast today. I look forward to actually traveling to Poland myself one day and possibly working together with you. Uh, but until then, you have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes.